Have you ever been caught taking a nap in public then feeling really embarrassed about it? Because that happens to me all the time and I'm sick of it. So today I'm going to some strange places to take naps so I will never feel embarrassed ever again. Starting from the first place, Ben and Jerry's. If you don't know what Dave & Buster's is, it's an arcade, and arcades usually have these sit-down shooter games, but the one I'm seeking out is Luigi's Mansion, because I desperately need to sleep with Luigi. Alright, we got one task right now, and that's to find Luigi's Mansion, so I'm gonna go and, go and find that right now. So I waddled around for a while, desperately trying to find Luigi and his mansion, and I found a bunch of sit-down shooter games, but the only place I could find Luigi was at the Mario Kart games, there's literally no Luigi anywhere. I thought I could find a Luigi's Mansion, like one of these type things, and it would have like a curtain here, and there, there would be like, I could, you know, have a curtain, but it doesn't exist here. I really wanted to sleep with Luigi. I then remembered there was a whole prize section that could have a Luigi stuffed animal in there. And after looking around for a little, I found him! Glorious Luigi! He is a furry, also. And he cost 3,900 tickets. BUT I CAN ACTUALLY SLEEP WITH LUIGI! Yeah. And as I walked a little more, I ended up finding probably the best spot to sleep in the entire place. So I have my napping spot, and I have a way to sleep with Luigi. All I need to do is get tired. WHICH MEANS I GOTTA GO CRAZY and get a ton of tickets. But most of the games at this place give you like no tickets at all. And I was struggling to find a way to get that many tickets until I ran into an old friend. The fishbowl game. I remember back in the day, this game used to give out so many jackpots that I had to put all my tickets in my underwear. This was my way to get Luigi. Oh shoot, right there. Are you? Let's go. Ah, it bounced out of the 500! Man, never mind, I don't know how to do this. Out of desperation for tickets, I went to the gambling spinning wheel machines, and I wasn't surprised that both of them gave me a combined 14 tickets. And at this point, my credits on the card were dwindling, I was tired, and I needed a ton more tickets. Or did I? I wanted to see how many more tickets I need to get Luigi, so I scanned my card and... WHAT?! I then remembered that this was the card I used back in the day to win a ton of jackpots on the fishbowl game! And I now only needed 280 more tickets. So I walked back to the fishbowl game and some people were on it. And they revealed to me that I was right all along. These people won 1000 tickets in the span of 5 minutes. So I waited until they left to spend the rest of my credits on that game. But luck just didn't seem to be on my side today. I'd spent so many credits on this game and I didn't even win one jackpot. But I kept hoping, and surely enough- Luigi, you are mine! You are mine! I had way more than enough to buy Luigi now, so I went straight into the store! There we go, I'd like to purchase this Luigi. There you go! I'm, I'm gonna be sleeping with this guy tonight. Yeah. That was a weird thing to say. Anyways, I spent the last of the credits playing Mario Kart with Luigi. HE GOT SECOND! Should I be surprised, Luigi? And then it was finally nap time. I thought I could fall asleep pretty easily, but doing it in an arcade was harder than I thought. I was extremely scared that some family of three with the average height of five foot one was going to walk in and see a fella napping, so I couldn't fall asleep easily. I also had to try a bunch of different positions because I couldn't sleep for the life of me. I even tried straight up laying on the floor, and this is what I could see. So I tried one more position, and it worked for a little. I fell asleep for like two minutes, and the only reason why I woke up was because this is what I was hearing and I couldn't take it anymore. I, I wanted to pull a Van Gogh. So I dipped out of the arcade, but it wasn't a failure by any means. Even if I only got a two minute nap, I still got Luigi, which means I get to bring him to my next spots to sleep. But I also gained a lot of confidence sleeping in places where I should not be sleeping. And as I was driving away, I had to go to the bathroom so badly, you have no idea. You know how you can, like, your body can sense when you're near a toilet? Uh, why do we do that? How does that even happen? Like, it's, a, it's, a, it's doing that right now. I, this thing smells so bad. I, I gotta use it. And then we're gonna, we're gonna take a nap in there. 
Oh my god! So I headed in to see what was up. Okay. Actually, this might not be too bad. Got hand sand hand There's no absolute snakes in there. How am I- How are you supposed to use the toilet? Uh, like a porta potty like touching yourself to it. Whoa! Whoa, whoa, whoa! I meant like touching your, you know, your cheeks. To, like, I, I'm gonna have to hover this. And so I did hover and hit the dookie in a ridiculous fashion. And then, a fatal mistake. You actually have it. <laughs> gotta be joking me. My microphone receiver broke mid dookie. Luigi was like this the entire time. All right, I'm not gonna lie. This place, it's kind of cozy. Maybe too cozy. I'm gonna, I'm gonna really try and do this. If I die of heat stroke, it's your fault. Somebody just arrived! I didn't think anyone would ever go here! Dude. Somebody's in here. I'm gonna walk out with a tripod and Luigi. I hope they didn't need the bathroom because I was not leaving. So I waited a little bit, and it seemed like nothing was going to happen. So I finally tried to get to sleep. I closed my eyes, and the only thing I could think about was someone coming to the door and me coming out with a tripod and a Luigi doll. But with the confidence I gained from the arcade, I was able to sleep pretty well in there because I knew nobody could see me. The only thing that woke me up was the absolute tsunami coming out of my face. It was like a greenhouse in there. And as I left, I saw that the person who arrived was just a mailman taking a break in the shade. Sorry, sorry, uh, mail person. What do you, what do you think? If you're watching this video, the guy behind me right now, in the mail truck. What do you think of a guy getting out of his uh, porta potty with a Luigi doll and a tripod? That that's exactly what I would do right there. I left the porta potty with a rested mind, delusional confidence that I could sleep anywhere now, and probably a ton of diseases, which I should go wash off. So it's a good time for a bath. Hello. <laughs> We're both here at the final destination, the depot. This was the final test for me. The land of the dads. If I cannot conquer this land with a nap, then I cannot nap any longer. I haven't been to Home Depot in years, so I forgot how absolutely ginormous it is. Luigi feels threatened right now. As I got lost in this labyrinth of a store, I realized why every dad spends their entire day there when they go. They literally have everything there. Fridges, buzz saws, giant inflatable skeleton, and most importantly, look at all this wood. This is the most wood I've ever seen. Oh my god. This is what a man feels like. So as I kept wandering around, I finally stumbled upon the bath section where I would have to take my nap. And I had struck gold! A bath. Okay, it seems like the best spot. I think I'm gonna shift it around horizontally so I'm not able to be seen from over there. And I'm just taking a nap. So I tried to move it, but it was just way too loud, and I didn't want anyone to hear me, so I just left it. Then I located a box and placed it next to the bath so people coming down the aisle wouldn't see me. So I felt confident that if people walked by, they wouldn't see me at all. So with unwavering confidence, and Luigi, I jumped right into the bathtub, and my heart was absolutely racing. I didn't think anything could scare me anymore. I thought about being in that bathtub for a long time. And the thought of it didn't scare me, but as I was laying there trying to sleep, I couldn't help but shiver my timbers. But every minute that passed, my confidence grew. Nobody was going to come down this aisle and see me sleeping. They were just gonna pass by and go on with their day. I was completely safe to sleep as long as I needed. Huh? This wasn't supposed to happen! Why did he stop right in front of me? He's definitely gonna turn around and see me. What do I do?! Then I had the genius idea of asking him if he needs any help. That way I wouldn't scare the life out of him. Do you need any help? Excuse me? He didn't hear me! 
At this point, I had no idea what to do. My phone was in plain sight right in front of his eyes. And at one point, he literally puts his arms around it. I have no idea how he didn't see it. He kept looking for 10 minutes and I slowly started to get up. Then he finally left and I booked it out of there. My mind was in pieces as I walked out to my car. I had no idea what just happened. What? How? 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 How did that just happen? We successfully took naps in strange places. And by going through that experience, there was nothing that could ever make me scared about people catching me napping ever again. I was in shock as I drove home. And when I got back, I collapsed on my bed and went straight to sleep. And even though all you people are watching me sleep right now, there is no way I'm going to feel bad about taking naps ever again. But unfortunately for Luigi, he is never going to sleep again. He is paralyzed in fear from what I put him through. And all he asks of you is that you subscribe and have a day. While also clicking that video on your screen right there. Yeah, that one right there.